everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 model, it's the 7000 series, the exact model will be 7559th model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and replace the battery. This method applies for any 7000 series, doesn't have to be this exact one. It's very really easy, it takes about 3 to 4 minutes to do this and I'll leave the link for a compatible batteries for this one so you can purchase and do yours really on fly. By replacing the battery you're not going to modify anything on the system or you don't have to do any configuration. It's really easy and fast and forward. So first thing first you want to flip power off the laptop, flip it upside down and then on the bottom cover you're going to see tiny hole in screw right there. We're going to remove this screw. You're going to be using a fixed screwdriver set and I'm going to be using a Phillips number one. And we're going to loosen up this screw. This screw has a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent from the screw coming up entirely. Also it acts as a little lifter so it lifts up, pushes away the cover from the main case. So if you pay attention, as soon as I start rotating this one, you're going to see the cover that gets separated right there. You see it lifts up the cover right there tiny bit. If you have our fingernails, put your fingernails right there and pull up the cover. If you don't, use a plastic or anything right there to lift up the cover and pull it up towards the ceiling. And then pull it forward. And right away you're going to see the battery right in front of you. And this battery, the model for the battery right here is a 357F9 model. I'll leave the link. This is a 74 watt hour battery, 13.05 volt. To remove this battery first we're going to disconnect it from here so you want to untangle this cable and then you want to pull it from the motherboard towards the ceiling right? just like that next we're going to remove uh, one two three four four hex screws usually these are hex number eight let me see yep they are number eight hex torque screws number eight so go ahead and remove these four screws You can magnetize your screw head so you can pull it out. And then you just simply grab this flip. Oh, there's one more right by the jack. Remove that one too. So there's five screws. I didn't see that one. And then grab this flip thing right in here or grab the cable. Remove, pull it towards the ceiling and remove it. This is a really thick battery, like a really heavy and thick. So once you get a new battery, you're not going to have this connector. So you have to disconnect it from here and plug it into the new battery. It only goes in one way. It doesn't go in that way around. So plug in this cable right in here. And you want to put down this end of the bottom end of the battery all the way right under the palm rest. So you want to bring it just like this in like about 65 degree and then push it down towards the motherboard. And next is to just Put down the screws uh, for this battery. These are five screws, torque number eight. Also remember, once you have the new, uh, to put, connect the connector right in here, bring it evenly toward the jack and push it down. Just remember, once you put the new battery in, you don't want to power on right away. You want to leave it there in an off mode and you want to connect the charger. Leave it there at least for five to six hours charging without powering it on. After five to six hours, you want to disconnect the charger and you want to use a light load on the CPU to drain the battery slowly uh, as long as it takes. Bring it down and then shut it down and then in off mode, put it again for charging five to six hours. And after that, you can use the way you wish. This is really good to do for the first charge and discharge to exercise the memory of the battery, the cells, they need to start working. So do that always. The last thing here to grab the bottom cover, put the front end under the palm rest, and then squeeze the sides and just tighten up the screw at the back. Again, if you find my videos helpful, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. As always, 
If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.